Well, handyman Mark here. Today, we're working on some fishing rod holders for our fishing trailer. So, hang on, here we go. Does anybody know how long a fishing rod holder should be? I'm gonna guess about, about there. gonna make a little notch I'm thinking something like that All right, this was my idea. Obviously, I have to go much further, much wider. I want that to be able to sit in there. I don't know if you can see that. So let's make it a little wider. This way the rod will be kind of locked in. It won't twist around. Yeah, that does it. Okay, four more of those. Right. We're gonna put a couple, we're gonna put a couple holes in for the screws. Keep it on the same line as the notch. So we had this shelf left over from a cargo trailer and it was two feet longer and we put it on this was a you know one of those kid carrying bike trailers you know, it's hard to see in the shadow but I drilled holes through the frame We could screw this deck down. Now this deck rotted out, so I cut the rotten end off. It's still pretty rotted. But that's kind of my idea for the fishing rod holders. Put maybe one, two, three, four. I don't know. I don't want to do one, two side by side. Maybe I can fit one, two side by side. And I want to do another rail around the top here. So let's have at it.
Alright, got some sides put on. Still debating on a tailgate. We'll come up with something. Alright, so I got the rod holders bolted bottom, top of the frame. You can see the screw point sticks out. I'll just hit that with a grinder. I'm just drilling a half inch hole, which is big enough to drive my bit in. I don't know if you can see down in there. But that's how we're getting those screws in. smaller screw in so the rod doesn't hit the head on the way down just a thought there we go all four rod holders on i think we can mount it on the trailer frame now there she is i kind of like it kids are gonna love it Still got room for a couple five gallon pails, which we're gonna put in and get some cast nets. <laughs> 